Hall of Presidents, we look upon a mirror of ourselves. The leaders we have chosen to safeguard our rights and our ideals, to imagine the future and to embrace its challenges. Ladies and gentlemen, the Presidents of the United States. George Washington, John Adams, Thomas. The close of the 21st century approaches, let us pause to honor the very idea of America. America mirrors the world's diversity, yet it remains united in its struggle to uphold fundamental freedoms. We believe our nation's happiness still evolves from liberty, from opportunity and from the vision of equality set forth by our country's Declaration of Independence. And today, our nation stands as a symbol of freedom and an inspiration to people all around the world. There is nothing wrong with America that cannot be cured by what is right with America. And there is nothing wrong with the world that cannot be cured by the ideals that America represents. We honor the enduring meaning of America. We we, the people, hear in their voices the voice of our own hearts. President Abraham Lincoln. My fellow countrymen, I have often inquired of myself what great principle or idea it was that kept this confederacy so long together. It was that all should have an equal chance, that all are created equal. This is the sentiment embodied in the Declaration of Independence. Most governments have been based on the denial of rights. Ours began by affirming our rights. Let us turn this government into the channel in which the framers of the Constitution originally placed it. If we cannot give freedom to every creature, let us do nothing that will impose upon another creature. And continue to enjoy the benefits conferred upon us by a united country.